Hello everybody. Um, I want to show you what I've been getting from Dollar Tree. I've been to the store probably about three times and haven't done a haul. So I want to show you what I've gotten. And I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. I am going to start with my head, my hair accessories. And you know I like my head wraps and my headbands. And this is, um, they call it a head wrap but I call it a headband. It's like an oatmeal color flower. That you put in, that you wrap around your head. That's the band here. And got that. I got this teal colored one. So those are just the light, just different colors. Um, I picked up some more headbands. These are goodies. It's called Goody Glam. And this is like um, metal. And this particular color is copper. And then I got a silver one. So I really like it. Can't wait to wear it. Um, you know, I go in Dollar Tree looking for things I can use coupons with, and of course I found some speed sticks. So I, I use four because most coupons now are limiting you to like four of the same same coupons. So I got four. I tried to do a second order, and the lady wouldn't let me. She said, "No, we can't do that. You can only do four per day." So I just, you know, didn't even argue. Um, Maybelline, I got some more Maybelline lip colors. I got four different colors. Um, uh, this one is Key, no, Icy Wine, and this one is Silver Lilac, and I'll probably wear that on my eyes. And this one is some kind of lilac color. I can't read it, it's too small. And then I have, um, this one is Rouge. So yeah, I got four, in, four different colors. I picked up a thermal conditioner cap. I need to start conditioning my hair really, really, really bad. I need to start doing that. So I believe that's all the hair accessories. And then I picked up this um, um, happy birthday sticker thing that I probably will use. Um, I'm going to try and do something sort of scrapbookish. I'm not really trying to do scrapbooking. I don't need to take on another hobby. But um, my, I mean, my grandson's birthday was, um, well, his birthday party was this past Saturday. And so I took lots of pictures and videos and I will be sharing those. And I'm thinking about doing something, some kind of a book. Anyway, um, I picked up this, this, uh, this is one of those things I don't know why I picked it up, but you know, sometimes I just start picking things up just because. This is Christmas harp. I do like harp, harp music, and um, I'm hoping it's all instrumental. I think it is, and um, yeah, it's just a traditional type songs on here, except for two I never heard of, but that's okay. Um, I picked up some pins that you wear on your clothes, and I thought they were cute. I probably will be putting this on Listia, and I will include a link on here um, about Listia, so you, if you're interested in that. Anyway, it just has a lot of different sayings on it. Um, I, I love when I'm right, which is always sarcasm. Just one more service I offer. Not a morning person does not even, be, not a morning person doesn't even begin to cover it. It's been lovely, but I have to scream now. My rules apply to everyone except me. I live in my own world. It's okay. They know me here. And I know you are, but what am I? I thought that was cute. And then these are just um, different uh, pins that say things like punk, wild, rebel, and then the other ones are just symbols. So I hope you can see that. And then I got some DVDs. I got the Dog Whisperer. One day I want to have a dog and I want to have, be up on my game when I get my dog. Um, this is Nev Campbell. I really hate my job. And this is Blonde and Blonder. I got two of these because I may, I don't know what I'm going to do with one of them, but I'm, I plan to keep one. This is called Darren's Dance Grooves 2. And I know I've seen him on television, so he used to sell these on TV. I don't know if he still does or not. But featuring the star of Stomp Yard and Soul Food. Oh, okay. I didn't know he was in that. And this is an exercise video by Karen Voigt. And I got two of these also because so, I probably will be getting rid of one of those. Okay, moving right along. I 
I think I told you about the deodorant. Got the deodorant. I picked up this FM radio. And I went on and opened it up so I can tell you about it. This is what it looks like. It's very cheap. Very cheaply made. You can see through it. It takes two AA batteries. And, um, but what I like about it is not only is it a radio, but it's, it has a light. So as you can see, it has a light that, um, you can use if the, for some reason the radio wasn't good. At least you had the light. But surprise, and it comes with headphones as well. But surprisingly, it does work. And it has a pretty good sound if you can find a station. Um, it has a reset, a scan, and a light button. And this is the um, where you turn it on and off right here. The volume is where it goes on and off. So, it is surprisingly good for a dollar. I mean, it's not... It's, it's pretty good, actually. I got two really good clear stations in my house. And I guess depending on where you are, your reception will vary. So, And I'm sure you can get more stations depending on where you are. Okay, so I went crazy with the books. I have a ton. I'm telling you, I could have a yard sale with just books. And for some reason, I can't resist when I see a good book, especially at a good price. I always buy my books at a good price. I rarely buy... A book. No, I never buy a book at the full price. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. And some things, I mean, I was shocked at what I found in the Dollar Tree. This one here, not so much shocked about, but I thought it looked interesting. It's called That Witch Has Horns. It's actually a romance novel about a woman who lives in Zimbabwe. So it seems promising. If I read it, this one is Unbelievable by Katrina Spencer. And the other one was um, by Miriam Shumba. I guess that's how you say it. This one is called Jansen's Gift. And this is about a woman who lost her son. And she decided to just uh, help children in other foreign countries that need help. So this will turn her grief into something positive. And this one is called the Personal Finance Classic, The Truth About Money. And I just couldn't believe this. It's actually a Rodale book. So you know how they sell. They're always hawking their um, books on television and stuff. Well, not television necessarily, but like in print I've seen a lot. But The Truth About Money talks about buying your first home, your next home, and saving on taxes. And it explains investments and retirement. So, yeah, a dollar tree. Look at this book, how thick it is. A dollar. Okay, this one... I, I do have the Simple Abundance book that I, I bought before, and this was in Dollar Tree. It's called Peace and Plenty. So it's from the same author that did Simple Abundance. So, yeah, Peace and Plenty, Finding Your Path to Financial Serenity. Y'all better check out Dollar Store if you like books and don't want to pay a lot. This one is called Come Sunday by Isla uh, Morley. And... Says she goes from Hawaii to the plains of South Africa, daring us to join her as she crosses racial and cultural divides. Sounds good. Sounds good. This one is called. This one is by Montel Williams, and it's called "Living Well Emotionally: Breakthrough to a Life of Happiness." And that also looks good. It's a self-help book. This is by Pam Greer, and it's called "Foxy: My Life in Three Acts: A Memoir." So. Yep, that looks good. And let's see, the next book I got, I actually bought two of them. And it is a uh, Serena Williams book. And basically, it's in her voice. Yeah, it's in her voice. So um, it looks interesting. Like I said, I bought two. I probably would be putting one on Listia. And the final one was the most surprising book of all. I believe someone was hiding this, but I found it. Yes, I did. I should have bought it. This is Michael Jackson. Do you see how thick this book is? Look how thick it is. Hardback book. It says, from 1958 to 2009. Updated with new chapters on the stars last years and last days. By J. Randy Tarabarelli. I mean... I'm not getting rid of this book. I love I love Michael Jackson. Now I I did uh kind of fall out of love with him towards the end, but I still have a lot of love for Michael Jackson. So anyway, um, 
Oh yeah, one last thing, and this really is the last thing. Don't buy these if you see these in the Dollar Tree. It's called Clever Magnetic Vent Cover. It does not work. It does not work. I repeat, it does not work. Um, I bought three of them, and this is what it looks like. This part right here is supposed to 